You're late, Your Majesty. A queen is never late. Everyone else is simply early. Of course. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and here is my bedroom tour. Obviously we've got white walls and ceilings. We've been in this house nearly two years now. This is a new build bungalow. This is my mum and dad's retirement home. <laughs> so it is quite small, it's only two bedrooms. It was brand new when we were the first people to be in it. My bedroom's very small, so I had to be really clever with how I place things, like storage. So when I first moved in, I had this bed. This bed frame was the only thing that was in here before. Everything else is completely brand new, apart from the grey carpets which we had put in when we came in. So my bed used to be along here, and it used to come straight out to here. Uh, I had a rail here, and then I had uh, a little chest of drawers the other side. You can imagine there was like, no room for my clothes, storage, the bed was just taking up the majority of the room. While I was away on the ship, my mum and dad thought, okay, we'll rearrange his room which was honestly the best thing ever. I'm so glad they did it. They got me these wardrobes too because I definitely needed it. This is so clever because it fits so well. And obviously you've got one, two, three, five drawers which hold watches, jewelry, necklaces, skincare, uh, hair care, and then at the bottom I have all my paperwork. Um, paperwork. <laughs> Don't do work. <laughs> this is from Very. It's the Monaco High Gloss Collection. I'll put everything on the screen like I did in my last video. And when I came back, that was the only thing that was in the room. So I had the bed, the two wardrobes, these. So I'll start from the mirror. This mirror is from IKEA, and I wanted like a really long mirror. And at the moment, it's just on two hooks, but you can put two hinges here, which I think I'm actually going to do very, very soon. So I'm going to put two hinges on it, so it folds out and then I'm gonna put loads of hooks on the inside and have all my necklaces, bracelets, jewelry. I have this tray from Ikea. It's just um, like a tray table. I wanted something so I, when I was in bed or if, if I was like on my laptop or just having a cup of tea, I just needed something that I could have next to my bed that could be like easily moved, so light. We'll start with the bedding. So, all of this bedding is from Ikea. This bed throw is currently doubled over at the minute, so it's two, so you can have it either way. I think I paid 25 pounds for that. All of these cushions are, so the cushion insets are from Ikea. They're um, duck feather ones. I think they are duck feathered. Are they duck feathered? Why am I asking mm -hmm. you? Who knows? Okay. Very soft though. These are all from Ikea. So you buy the, in, in, in what are they called? Insert, I think that's what it's called. It could be lying, probably am lying. I bought the inserts first of all, and then I wanted two grey pillows. This grey pillow is the exact match to these curtains, and it's got like a velvety feel. It's really nice. And then I wanted like two like statement pillows. So I've got my cow print, moo moo, and then I've just got like a black and white striped. This is a king duvet cover because this is a double bed but it's a double du uh this is a double bed but it is a king size duvet cover because it's like extra isn't it and it, i like it when it goes down to the floor pillowcases and my bed sheet fitted bed sheet is also from ikea i put that on the screen for you as well and my bed's honestly my favorite thing ever because if you look around there's not really anywhere to have a tv so, it's probably my, one of my favourite things in my room. I have a... I have a TV bed! <laughs> I recently replaced the TV in this as well because it, I didn't have a smart TV before. Um, hi! Hi! Got it from Curry's and I think I paid just over £200 for it. I'm really not good at that. When we first moved here, mum and dad had a silver curtain pole up and um, these short grey curtains. I really like long 
um, curtains that drape to the floor because it makes the room and the ceilings look taller. It's a tip. I wanted like everything in my room to go with the theme of having black and chrome. Did you say that's chrome? Yes. So yeah, both of these from IKEA. This was super easy to put up and these, you come under here, they just literally slot through. These are blackout curtains as well. My bedroom is quite light because I'm on the main road, so yeah. Also, this is my new buy. One of the best things I've probably ever bought. Online, these are actually really expensive. Some were like, I saw one that was like £335 and I was like, I can't afford that. This was from Lidl. So just going to get like your daily bagels and eggs. This is called a ter terrarium. A terrarium, I think. Basically, it's its own ecosystem. So once you've put the cork on, I was going to make one of these myself, but I probably will make one at some point. So the idea is to not put it in direct light and it condensates so you never have to water it. So it basically looks after itself and you just twist it around. I think I paid £16.99 for that. Very cheap for what it is. And then I liked it so much that I bought my mum one as well for the kitchen. This, I don't really use this too often because I have like other lumps in my room. From Wilkin, Wil Wilco's to match this. These are both from Wilco's. And I got this plant from B&Q. You buy the plant individually. I only paid four pounds for this. And this is just like a plastic black matte pot, also from B&Q. So it was just like that on the side. I was like, oh, I want to make it tall. I want to raise it a bit. So when I next went to B&Q, I saw this, but this actually isn't available um, online and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I have put one on the screen that looks most like it. Kind of like a tripod sort of style. And I really liked it. Always remember to water your plants. This storage is from Ikea. I needed something here for like, underwear, socks. At first I had it this way, but it was kind of like overlapping the radiator and I didn't like that you could see the plastic drawers. So you get the frame and the drawers and the lids as well. Yeah, that was from Ikea. Please sponsor me, Ikea. I can give you like a sneak peek of my wardrobe, but that's all you're getting for now. This cool thing stands for Marcus Allen. I know. Chrysostomo. Allen! 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 These were from Home Bargains. Uh, I couldn't find them online, uh, but I'm, I guess you could get them from anywhere. They match the lamp. I've got my speaker that I talked about on my last video. Bose Revolve Sound. Keep it up high because it spreads the, spreads the love. And then I have these really cool strip lights from Ikea. They're warm white. And then I stuck them on the back with like um, some little tape. I have the switch stuck to the side of my wardrobe as well. At night time, I just have all my lights off and all my strip lights on and it looks so nice. This I got from a company on Instagram and Etsy called Copper Blush. You can choose different uh, colors of the wire you want and it's very easy to put up on her stories on her Instagram. It tells you exactly how to install them into your walls. It's super easy, hardly any mess. And I just think it creates such a nice touch to the room. The reason why I have Pretty Boy is because that's what Sam always calls me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it put on my wall. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the Instagram page called Copper Blush. She likes it if you send her like how you've done it and then she'll normally post them on her Instagram page. Got back to me super quick. We've got a few around the house that I bought, um, one for my mum, one for my dad. And then my auntie came around and saw them and she was like, oh, where did you get them from? And I was like, oh, do you want some? She was like, yes, please. And then she got two for her house and then my friend came around the other day. She was like, oh, where did you get them from? And I was like, oh, blush. She was like, I'm definitely gonna have to get with them. So you're welcome, copper blush. Got these little hooks from Ikea because I didn't have any storage in the back of my drawer and I desperately, desperately needed to have something to hang on there. So I've got my Michael Kors bag, my Calvin Klein jeans bag, my Valentino bag here. And then in here, I have like all of my bum bags for when I have to take my retainers in and out. I try to have one that matches my outfit. That's my aim. Up here, this is a dragon tree as well. This is a 14 centimeter pot and this was seven pounds from B&Q and this is the same pot as the other one as well and this was also from B&Q. I wanted like a plastic mat 
like clean lines and plus I'm really clumsy so I do tend to break things. Take you over to my shelves. These shelves are from Argos. They did three sizes at the time. I tried to look online and I couldn't find all of the sizes. I think I either found this size or that size over there. Sam got his from B&Q and I just think they're much better quality. This one kind of slants a little bit so it does worry me to put anything too heavy on it. This is a print that I got from Maisie Does A Draw. This is me and my cousin. This is from us in Italy and I got her one of these for her birthday this year and I was like you know what I'm gonna get myself one and here's the picture that I sent in and that's what I got and I just love it so much and this is her Instagram page as well this pot was from Ikea this is an aloe vera plant sorry about this we used to have a little aloe vera plant in one of the pots in the lounge I think we have so many plants everywhere and this is one of like the seedlings of it so it got really big and we would just like took them out and planted them in loads of different pots and yeah this is what I got back and I love this pot as well because it matches like the silver uh, the silver of the lamb and this is really cool this is actually really special to me because my granddad made me this so my granddad was a builder and he um, recently passed away and this is one of the things that I really wanted this was his like varnishing pot so when you like varnish skirting boards or like gloss things this is what he used to use so he made this himself this is a tin can of beans and then he cut the top off sanded it down and made like a little handle for it so I had this on my side just with, like just with any like with nothing in before and then I was like oh do you know it'd be such a good idea if I stuck a little cactus pot in it and I think it's really cute and it's just a really nice memory to have on my side this is my Dr. House Nelson <laughs> This is my Dr. Nelson's inhaler for singing because I trained for three years in singing and dance as well. For four years actually, I did a foundation college at Evolution Foundation College and I done three years at Masters Performing Arts College as well. I know it doesn't look like an inhaler, but it is. <laughs> these little uh, cacti are from Ikea, these come in a three pack and I actually got bought these as a gift for a moving in present in my old student house. Um, in my previous video I said that we got three frames from uh, B&Q and this was the spare frame. Strip lights from Ikea as well, when the room's dark, just lights up and it shows everything that's on the shelf and it just looks really, really nice. These prints are from Eleanor Jean Design. Get naked and namaste in bed. So this is her Instagram page, give her a follow. And there's so many prints to choose from, different sizes, you can have it matte, glossy, literally so much. My idea was for this, so as you look at the bed, it says, get naked and then as you sit in the bed I have another print up here and it says butt first tea because if you didn't know already I absolutely love cups of tea they are my favorite things ever Yorkshire tea bags are my favorite so if anybody wants to send me some tea bags feel free I won't publicly post my address but private message me and I would love some Yorkshire tea bags. This frame is from Ikea. That's a 40 times 50 frame. And this frame is also from Ikea. This is a 40 times 50 frame as well. Frame. This frame is from The Range. It's quite heavy though. I have to be really careful with it. And you have to polish that a lot. Dust accumulates. This is from Ikea. One of my friends had this and I saw it and I was like, oh, I definitely need to get that. because It looks super nice. This is an artificial plant from Ikea and I think it's a candle holder from Ikea. Also, these are from B&M. So this is a candle holder. I couldn't find this online because um, I think they sold up really quick. I paid three pounds for this. Uh, I just put something else on the screen that's a similar and it's very nice as well. And then this is my little M candle. My mum got me this as like a little stocking filler last year. So it stands for Mum <laughs> stands for Marcus. This is from Asda. This was two pounds, I think. This is my little cactus plant. I think this is one of my mum's old pots that I just took. This used to be in uh, a similar plant pot to these, 
and I replanted it so it could get like slightly bigger and it was just in a nicer pot. And it, the gloss of the pot matched the gloss of the shelves. Wimble it, a wimble it, a wimble it, a wimble it. In the jungle, the money jungle. Sorry. These are like um, a photo grid. I got these from Amazon. They came as a pair. They came with these little um, hooks. You just hammer them into the wall really lightly. I can't really see them because they're white. This print is also from Eleanor Jean Design. This is from a Vivian Westwood necklace, I believe. And this is from a magazine and I just cut it up because I thought it looked cool. <laughs> and I had to buy these clips separately. So I bought the uh, chrome clips here and then I bought the matte black clips as well. Then up here I have another shelf from Argos with some more strip lights and then I have up here my aftershaves and Sam's aftershaves because we're back at my house now. This is fairly new, this is Inse Laurent, Sam bought me this. Um, as a surprise I just came home one day and it was sitting on my bed because I said I really wanted it. And then Gucci Guilty is normally my everyday go-to but we're running low so meaning to stock her up soon and Ralph Lauren. I got this while I was away. Surprise, surprise. And then I've got this one, Hugo Boss. I think I got this from Home Bargains. Oh, I didn't even know they sold aftershaves there. It was 30 pounds for, is this a 50 mil? This is a 75 mil bargain. Also I have my little mirror stand, which I do my like eyebrows in, skincare, just, just in case I want to look at myself. So this is from Ikea. This used to have like a curly, bit on the top and it came with the mirror and I was like oh I really like the mirror but I do not like that so what I did I just didn't put it on there and then this is my little basket from B&M so this has all my skincare in it I'll talk about my skincare another time like what I use at the moment I'm using skin chemist London serum for men and balm and moisturizer so yeah, that's my little expensive basket. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, and me, if you don't like me, I'm very sorry. Sometimes I don't like me, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, so I think it's time for you guys to leave. I'm now going to go downstairs in my bungalow. Peace out. See you on the next one. Oh, that wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.